my name is uh, Thibault Lemoyne. I am uh, export manager for uh, French Timber. So French Timber is a trade association. We represent the French sawmill industry. So we represent both softwood and hardwood producers, as well as some uh, veneer producers and some uh, finished products uh, like uh, producers of decking, cladding, uh, or uh, panels as well. So okay. we have a very wide uh, range of products available. Okay, so like, what are the main wood species which are you mostly in demand in the Indian market right now? Like, what do you feel? Like, what are you introducing so, in this fair? I know the Indian market is very orientated on uh, teak woods, but there are mm -hmm. still uh, small parts of the market available for foreign products. So um, I know that uh, beech is quite a popular product here um, because it's got a very high uh, value for money. Yeah, uh, it's a very good wood. It's very easy to work with, and the price is uh, relatively reasonable. Reasonable. Uh, oak is also very popular wood, like everywhere in the world. Of course, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's the top uh, end of the quality. That as far as hardwood is concerned. Absolutely. Yes, we could compare it to teak and say it's like our European. And it's also sustainable in the Indian climate, which is where like a main concern yes. for the Indian buyers, Absolutely. Indian importers, yes. because the like, condition is here is very humid. You must feel it right now. The yeah. temperature yeah, yeah, is yeah. much more humid and heavy here. Yeah, so the uh, oak is, is well adapted for indoor and also for outdoor use. Uh, because it's uh, class 3 timber, so it's... Uh, uh, class 3 without treatment, class 4 if treated like... Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So that's very important for Indian climate and for a lot of other very hot and humid uh, conditions. It's very important to have the right wood or to have the right treatment to make sure that it will age in good condition. That's very important. And so like... Uh, as I asked you before, like the sapwood of oak is distinctive from, from its yellowish brown heartwood, right? And it is also easy to treat. What are the other advantages do the sapwood feature provide the woodworkers with? Well, the sapwood is, uh, gives a distinctive look to the, to the wood. Some, uh, some users uh, remove the sapwood okay. uh, to actually have um, always the same uh, material response because the, the hardwood and the subwood would react differently. differently yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Okay, sometimes, so. uh, depending on the application, of course, uh, people will remove it. Uh, for indo indoor use, maybe it's less a problem, but uh, for outdoor applications, sometimes it's better to remove the subwood. Okay, okay, and to okay. be sure that the product will age in an even manner. Even manner, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, like, what are the basic features which allow oak to be classified as class 3, like, apart from durability, and like, what are the like basic character characteristics which uh, allows us to categorize oak as a class three timber? Well, oak is really uh, a wood that you can use for many applications because it's so resistant. Uh, it's in the old days in France, it was used for construction, beams, posts, um, framework for the roofing. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it has a lot of applications. And for instance, in uh, Notre Dame de Paris, the big church in yes. Paris where you have Quasimodo and all yeah, the yeah, stories yeah. going on, the actual roof structure is all made, made of oak that oak. are 800 years old and they're still here and doing their job. So, so that, I mean, it's, it's something that you can really rely on. It's a uh, very reliable product. Okay. Very, very uh, strong. Wood. Okay. And uh, one more thing I want to ask, which is not there in the question here, like uh, the Canadians, the Americans, all, and you also say that we are introducing soft food here in India. Considering the fact that India is much more oriented towards hardwood, like the peak you said, like what are the future scope of soft food industry in India? What do you feel like that? Like your honest opinion? Soft food is, is a totally different business from, from the hardwood industry. Uh, us, as a trade association, we represent the whole producers in France, so everybody. Um, maybe we'll, we'll have uh, a hard time penetrating the market with our softwood because at the moment uh, there is a lot of requests going on for uh, simple products. Uh, mm -hmm. Glued laminated products are not yet in demand on the market. Uh, so maybe we will be more competitive in a few years when there will be some maybe demand for glued laminates or beams or things like that. Uh, when it's standard American uh, uh, some timber, 
we, we will have probably trouble competing with them. But we can always come and present our products and people will know that uh, we exist. And when the market opens up to this type of product, yes, we will of be, course, of course. We will be there. The Canadians seem much optimistic. Like they are like they speak your language a bit. Yeah. <laughs> like they are French in Canada also, right? Yes, like French speaking. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they they seem to be very optimistic about they are only introducing soft food, engineering soft food. Yes, they Western spruce, a, a, a uh, spruce mainly. Resource, yeah. yeah. And they said that the Indian market is going for the soft food and like uh, it, it, will, is, it is gradually opening up it is. so they are optimistic and hope so French timber French timber will generate if we can have a small part of the a small piece of the market that's uh, <laughs> that's enough for you <laughs> absolutely we want to develop our sales in all the major markets and I'm pretty sure that uh, India will be a, a very big market in the years to come I think the market is growing quite fast wow well, yeah one more thing like uh, in India the sustainability of the raw materials like in the salt timber you say teak is very scarce like it's not like as regulated as Europe or yeah. North America so the Canadians feel that uh, that I've interviewed yeah. Canfor uh, they say that uh, the, this will be an opportunity for the soft food market to plunge in and like develop in the future because hardwood will be scarce, more scarce yeah. in future and so like it might be a given opportunity. Yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, pretty sure. So. Okay, okay. So like it was nice talking to you, Timba. Thank you.